He is a Form 4 school dropout, but to the people in his village, he is an accomplished electrical engineer. I never thought I could have electricity in my own house. I always thought it's a Nairobi thing. Every day when the sun goes down and the entire Gekoya market in Mathioya is enveloped in darkness, 26-year-old John Magiro switches on his power and there's light in the streets. I make a security right about three to two to three kilometers. Zabarabara, nekuanga free of charge. Magiro's dream of lighting up his village after years of darkness began with a bicycle dynamo. The project began uh, back in 2013, but I started when I was in primary school. I started when I was in primary school, but later on, I was in the middle of the school. I started when I was in the middle of the school, but later on, I started when I was in the middle of the school. I started when I was in the middle of the school, but later on, I started when I was in the middle of the school, but later on, I started when I was in the middle of the school. So, I started when I was in the middle of the school, and I started when I was in the middle of the school. Enchanted by the workings of Adanamo to produce light, he took his ideas to the fast flowing waters of River Gondo in the heart of Muranga County. Magiro says the self improvised power plant supplies sustainable and stable power to all the 250 households that are currently connected. Each household is billed at 200 shillings a month for the unlimited power supply. Sasa naona sasa kuna change ju and even the environment iko salama. Bado kuna wengine ambao wanahitaji stima but wezi wakaipata ju haya hatuna we don't have we only have two transformers we need more transformers from Smithson line like wires also some pipes we need kila mkenya anahitaji kujua ya kwamba wewe hata ukiomba serikali wewe ni nini unafanyia wa Kenya na unafanyia serikali. So kama kwangu yenye wanga naonelea kwamba Reporting for Citizen TV, I am Victor Nzioka.